Okay, here we go. Uh, part two of my Volvo Penta uh, MD1B engine water pump repair. Part one, I showed you how the inside of the, uh, the pump had been damaged by the grub screw working its way out of the impeller. So we've got to look at that when I put it back together again. I've repaired that. Uh, the repair kit has turned up and contains two gaskets, an oil seal and a water seal for the back of the pump, a new shaft which is needed, and um, six little screws to put the cover back on. Surprisingly, the um, repair kit did not include the impeller. I had to buy that separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the impeller on the new shaft. I'm going to put a little dab of silicone grease on the shaft. Line it up and just pop that on. There we go. Now this little grub screw needs to go down there. And what you've got to do, the temptation, the temptation is just to push that grub screw straight in. But you must not do that. It's got to be screwed in to catch a thread on the rubber of the um, of the impeller. So I'm going to gently screw this grub screw all the way down. Start it with my fingers, I think. There we go. It's I can feel that it's caught a thread on the rubber. And I'm just going to keep keep on doing that. There we go. Going nicely in through the hole in the shaft and hopefully catching a thread on the rubber on the other side, which it has done there. I'm hoping the camera's working properly. It's difficult to do this with. So there we are. That's gone in nicely and secured the impeller on the new shaft. Okay, I'm gonna nice grease this shaft now. Bags of grease on that. Okay, and I'm going to put loads of grease inside the pump. Big dollop of silicone grease in there. Loads of it. Okay. Then I'm going to pop the shaft in to the pump. And... Get the impeller in, not easy. There we go, I think. There we go. Just pop the impeller in so that the shaft just comes proud at the back. And now I'm gonna put the oil seals in. Okay, the first oil seal goes in with the garter spring. They've got little garter springs in these, if you can see. There, that goes in facing forwards to stop water coming back into the pump. So I'm just gonna press that seal in there. Okay, and I'm going to use a socket just over there, just to push that seal home. There we go, all the way in. And it's important now to make sure that the drain holes in the pump the drain holes are not blocked by that seal and looking into the pump I can see that they're not. Okay so that one's gone in facing downwards just make sure it's pushed home with the socket. This other seal comes in with the garter spring facing outwards because that's going to stop oil from the engine which turns the shaft of course coming back into the pump. Now this just, this just needs to be pushed in flush Otherwise, if you pushed it in all the way, it would block those drain holes. So I'm just going to push that in nice and flush. So that, and that's it there. Okay. So that's the pump now reassembled. I can see by looking into the pump that the drain holes are clear. So that if you push that seal right in, it would block the drain holes and that wouldn't be a good idea at all. So that's the pump done. I'm going to put a little bit more grease in, in there. 
give it give it a good old welly okay and I'm just going to settle that settle that um, impeller down okay loads of grease in there now the temptation now would be to put the gasket on and screw the top on but I'm not going to do that because if I did that when I come to put this back on the engine I wouldn't be able to turn the impeller to locate that slot with the lug in the engine if I put the cover on I'd have to hand crank the engine to line those up don't want to do that so I'm going to leave the cover off put the pump back on the boat turn the impeller to engage that slot with the lug in the engine and then I'll put the cover back on so there we are that's my pump reassembled and ready to go back on the boat um, I hope this little video has helped anybody who's found themselves in the same position. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.